Finally tonight, a very curious sighting in a remote part of the country, a mysterious metal structure. Officials are investigating. Situated within the heart of northern Arizona, in the United States, lies a geological masterpiece that's captivated enthusiasts and adventurers for several years. This masterpiece is called the Grand Canyon, and it was crafted over millions of years through the erosive power of the Colorado River and stretches approximately 277 miles long and up to 18 miles wide. Its awe-inspiring depths, majestic cliffs, and vibrant hues create an enigmatic wonderland that's a treat to watch. But amidst its breathtaking beauty, scientists have recently uncovered a hidden secret that has terrified the entire world. Stick around till the end of today's video to know more about this hidden secret. Apart from it being a geological masterpiece, the Grand Canyon also serves as a cultural and spiritual significance for various Native American tribes, with one of them being the Havasupai tribe. The Havasupai tribe, also known as the people of the blue-green waters, consider it to be their ancestral home, and are of the belief that spiritual and physical worlds intertwine at the canyon. These beliefs of the Havasupai tribe might be true, as scientists have recently discovered some really strange evidence that supports this claim. These claims tell us a lot about the earlier human presence in America and challenge theories of human migration. Archaeologists have found evidence such as ancient tools, artifacts, and even human remains dating back several thousands of years, which indicate that human life existed much earlier than we knew of. Among these were Hun and Bighorn sheep that dated from 1000 to 2000 BC. Experts believe that these figurines were left as a ritual by the tribes after successfully scoring an animal for the feast. These recent discoveries provide us insights into the technology and skills possessed by these ancient inhabitants and how they survived in the challenging environment of the canyon. Upon meticulous study of their remains and examining their DNA, scientists have managed to gain insights into the physical attributes, cultural practices, and lifestyle of these ancient people. In 1880, American geologist Clarence Dutton, while exploring the Grand Canyon, noticed something unique and mesmerizing. He noticed that the Grand Canyon's walls are made up of several rock layers, with each of them representing a distinct period of Earth's history. Among these rock layers, some of the lower rock beds are slightly tilted, which intrigued Dutton. He believed that these tilted rocks belonged to a really old period in history and were made of really old sediments. He believed that these sediments were placed as horizontal beds, which over time hardened and, due to the geological forces, tilted upwards. As time passed, forces of the river cut down these tilted beds into a horizontal bed. Later on, new layers of sediment were developed and deposited over these beds, which resulted in this remarkable break called the Great Unconformity. Don't you want to look at the Grand Canyon? At first, people didn't pay much attention to it, but as time passed and new technologies were developed, people started to know how great this discovery was. From the radiometric dating, we know that rocks above the unconformity belonged to Cambrian period, which was about 500 million years ago. On the other hand, the rocks below the unconformity date back over 1.5 billion years ago. Now this is a big gap, as the Earth as we know it is 4.5 billion years old. So if we do the math, we've lost 25% of the Earth's history at this particular spot. If you think that's strange about the Grand Canyon, then wait till you hear what we have for you at the end. The series of discoveries at the Grand Canyon doesn't stop here, as scientists have recently made some fascinating discoveries that give us insights into prehistoric life forms that existed in the region. These discoveries include remains and fossils of various organisms that provide us with a sneak peek into the ecosystem of the canyon. From the depth of the Grand Canyon, archaeologists have discovered fossils of ancient marine animals, trilobites, bachiopods, and crinoids. These animals could survive only in deep waters, which indicates that the region was once a vast ocean. These fossils, preserved in the rock layers, give us insights into the environment hundreds of millions of years ago. 
The Grand Canyon has also revealed evidence of terrestrial organisms such as plants, insects, and vertebrates. With the help of these fossils, scientists can reconstruct an image of the prehistoric flora and fauna of the region. These unique fossils provide us with information on how life forms evolved and adapted to the changing environment. Moreover, researchers have also discovered preserved tracks and traces left behind by ancient animals such as amphibians, reptiles, and dinosaurs. Among these organisms and creatures also existed what we know as the Mogollon Monster, or Arizona Bigfoot. Yes, you heard it right, a real-life Bigfoot. The Mogollon Monster has been described in folklore and was last sighted in 1903. Witnesses claim that they've encountered a tall, seven-foot, hairy humanoid with glowing eyes roaming around the wilderness surrounding the canyon. Witnesses have mentioned that the Mogollon Monster has a pungent odor and emits eerie vocalizations. Local residents and researchers have found footprints of this ginormous creature, which proves its existence. The Mogollon Monster is still not the strangest discovery of the Grand Canyon. Watch along to know about the strangest discovery at the Grand Canyon. The story of G. E. Kincaid and his remarkable discovery beneath the Grand Canyon is undoubtedly the most captivating story of exploration and adventure. In the early 20th century, G. E. Kincaid, an archaeologist and explorer from Lewiston, Idaho, embarked on an exciting journey into the depths of the Grand Canyon. He went there on a mission to interview members of the Hopi tribe that lived near the canyon. His frequent visits to the canyon allowed him to get closer to the Hopi chief, who told him something really shocking. The Hopi chief told him that there was an underground city beneath the canyon that was built several thousand years ago. Unfortunately, the Hopi chief didn't give him much information, which is why he left on the quest alone. As he went deeper into the canyon, he stumbled upon a breathtaking sight that was unknown to the people before. Kincaid witnessed a vast underground city that was hidden beneath the rocks of the Grand Canyon. The features and characteristics Kincaid described of this underground city defy conventional wisdom and challenge our archaeological understanding. The underground city, also known as the mysterious underground city, appeared to be a diligently crafted metropolis with advanced infrastructure and architectural masterpieces that were nothing short of wonder. The underground city also had evidence of a sophisticated civilization that thrived during the early days. According to the tales, there were intricate hieroglyphics written on the walls which showcased a level far more sophisticated than what Kincaid knew at the time. The city also featured chambers, meticulous stonework, advanced engineering, and expert craftsmanship which were quite fascinating. Kincaid also mentioned that there was a giant statue in the communal hall that had a flower in his hand and was sitting cross-legged with valuable items placed around it. Some tales also reveal that the sophisticated society living inside this underground city had a deep understanding of science, mathematics, and aesthetics, which were reflected throughout the creations. Upon discovering this giant underground city, Kincaid reached out to the Smithsonian Institution, a museum situated in the United States that sponsored this entire expedition of Dr. G. E. Kincaid. The Smithsonian sent a team of over 30 people and the second phase of exploration began. During the second phase of exploration, Kincaid and his team found a large and spacious room that had something that shook the entire team. Before we tell you what it is, do like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Inside this large and spacious room were hundreds of mummies wrapped in linen. These mummies were all male and had an average height of 9 feet. Kincaid knew that there was a civilization of giants that existed in ancient times, and he was sure that these mummies belonged to that civilization. Meanwhile, news broke about the discovery of an underground city, and people started to wonder what this unique city might be. Seeing this talk about the Grand Canyon, authorities from Washington, D.C. were involved, and the entire expedition of the underground city was shut down. Since then, no one has heard about the findings of Kincaid, and all his findings have vanished from the archaeological community. His tale of the underground discovery beneath the Grand Canyon remains shrouded in mystery. Some people dismissed it as a mere legend or hoax, whereas others argue that the story carries elements of truth. Rumors say that the Smithsonian intentionally concealed or destroyed this evidence that supports the existence of giant human skeletons, which purportedly challenge mainstream scientific understanding. 
These conspiracy theories revolving around suggest that the Smithsonian is part of a larger effort to suppress information that contradicts established historical and evolutionary narratives. However, there's no evident information on this, and these are just mere theories.